What is up everybody? Sting is the Grays back here in our video and this is the top 10 lists. And this is the top 10 greatest. That's right, the top 10 greatest WrestleManias of all time. And kicking it off at number 10 on the list. It is based, it holds quite possibly the most memorable moment of all time and that is and it's WrestleMania 3. WrestleMania 3 live in the Pontiac Silverdome in front of a crowd of over 93,000 people. Jam packed. And this WrestleMania had a lot of phenomenal matches. But the one match that sticked out most was the Intercontinental Championship match between Macho Man Randy Savage and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Those two guys completely tore the Pontiac Silver Dome down. If Andre and Hogan didn't tear it down later on, Macho Man and, and Steamboat did it. I mean, and then, and then you have the main event, the heavyweight title, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. And a lot of people say this match sucked, but you guys are stupid when it comes to that. But, um, but the body slam, when Hogan picked up Andre the Giant and body slammed him in front of over 93,000 people, wrestling made its mark. And Hulkamania was here. Uh, so, uh, uh, just a great WrestleMania indeed. Alright, coming in at number 9 on the list is WrestleMania 21. Uh, a, a recent WrestleMania indeed. We had Money in the Bank, the very first ever Money in the Bank. Edge won the Money in the Bank. Oh, a very good, very good Money in the Bank. Probably the best Money in the Banks, Money in the Bank there is. Uh, you had Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio, which was a good match. You had Undertaker versus Randy Orton, was another good match. But all those matches pale in comparison to the match that Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle put on. Because that match was just one of the greatest WrestleMania matches I've ever seen. I mean, Shawn Michaels actually super kicked Kurt Angle right in the freaking nose. He didn't hit the chin, no, he hit him in the nose. Uh, just a very good match. And a very good WrestleMania indeed. Alright, coming in at number 8. It may be a little bit high or a little bit low in some people's lists. But it's WrestleMania 14 coming from Boston in the Fleet Center. Uh, this WrestleMania had some very good memorable matches. Undertaker versus Kane. Match of the night there. You had Stone Cold versus Shawn Michaels. Very good ending. And even though Shawn Michaels had a, a broken back, he still performed a match of a lifetime and the Attitude Era was born and that's why WrestleMania 14 is number 8 coming in at number 7 is WrestleMania 6 WrestleMania 6 had again good matches and a good atmosphere it was in Toronto Skydome and the fans was just completely glued into it, especially in the main event. Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior. And, you know, the Ultimate Warrior, you know, he usually has shit matches, but this match he had with Hogan, quite possibly his greatest match uh, ever. And, you know, this WrestleMania was remarkable. Very, very re remarkable indeed. And historic because this was the very first international WrestleMania. All right, coming in at number six on the list is WrestleMania eight. This may be a little bit low or a little bit high on some people's list, but I personally think WrestleMania eight is one of the greatest because even though you did not have Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan, but I think WWE. Uh, WAF made a, a very good decision in making it the Macho Man versus Ric Flair because that match was unbelievable. Uh, and, you know, Ric Flair cheated his entire way through that match, but 
It was the Macho Man Randy Savage who hooked the tights and giving Ric Flair a taste of his own medicine and winning back the championship. And of course, the undercard, the undercard for the Intercontinental, Bret Hart versus Roddy Roddy Piper, and that is one of the greatest WrestleMania matches ever, too, because that match was just on freaking believable and intense. Had you on the edge of your seat the entire, the entire time, not through just the matches, but through the entire event. Uh, event. Coming in at number five is a shocker to most people because it's they're either number one or number two on this list. But number five, and I have a lot explained when I say this, but it's WrestleMania 17. The reason why WrestleMania 17 is my number five is because, yeah, they had some good matches. They had the TLC match. Uh, McMahon versus McMahon. You had Austin versus The Rock. You had Triple H versus The Undertaker. Match of the night, in my opinion. And some other, and you know, of course, you had Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit. But the reason why it's number five is because it... It had some, it had some shit matches. The women's title match was shit, and the battle royale was shit. Um, but you also had some matches that had questionable, dare I say, questionable fucked up finishes. The TLC was kind of a messed up finish, and uh, I did not like the ending to Stone Cold versus The Rock when Stone Cold just beat the shit out of him with a steel chair. I mean, really? Really? But that's why it's number five. Otherwise, it's a fucking awesome WrestleMania. But coming in at number four is WrestleMania 20, where it all begins again in Madison Square Garden. And this had the rememberable night. Well, it's erased from WWE history. But WWE, I'm telling you this right now, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, nobody... In nobody in the freaking world will ever forget the moment where Chris Benoit became the world heavyweight champion and then celebrated it with his best friend, Eddie Guerrero. And you had that triple threat match, Benoit, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. Quite possibly the greatest triple threat match ever. And that's why WrestleMania 20 is number 4. Coming in at number 3 is WrestleMania 10. Uh, coming in from Madison Square Garden again. WrestleMania 10 had the ladder match. It had Bret Hart versus Yokozuna and it had Bret Hart versus Owen Hart. And that opening contest was just un freaking fucking incredible. You know, it, and you just. Just unbelievable. And then you had the ladder match. Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon for the Intercontinental title. And oh my god, what a match. And a lot of people will say it's the greatest ladder match ever. Coming in at number two, it's WrestleMania 18. WrestleMania 18, you know, this this WrestleMania had everything. It was back in the Sky Dome. And this WrestleMania had just everything you could want. It had the hardcore division and the hardcore title changed hands like six times. You know, when you were backstage you always saw craziness coming about. Hurricane like comes in out of nowhere, kicks uh, Spike Dudley in the face and wins the Intercontinental belt and then he flees like and just runs like hell and then Molly just hits him in the head with a frying pan and becomes Hardcore champion, just craziness, even like that. And then you had the undisputed title. And then you had Austin versus Scott Hall. You had uh, the tag team match was pretty good too. The the women's title match was even good. And most women's matches at WrestleMania sucks, but WrestleMania 18's women match was really really good. But the one match that everybody paid to see, that everybody, all 68,000 of them came to see was The Rock versus Hulk Hogan, Icon versus Icon, the dream match of a lifetime. And boy, 
it did not disappoint one bit. Two wrestling icons battled it out in a phenomenal match. And a phenomenal WrestleMania it was. But number one is my personal favorite. It's WrestleMania 19. WrestleMania 19 is number one for a lot of good reasons. You had Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. who was back and forth, back and forth. I didn't know if Shawn was going to win or Chris Jericho was going to win. I thought Jericho might win. But then Shawn Michaels got the pinfall. And then out of the blue, Chris Jericho, you think, oh, he's going to turn face and handshake Shawn Michaels. No, he handshakes him and BAM! Low blows Shawn Michaels right in the balls. And just as Shawn slithers down his body, just shoves him down to the canvas. Classic moment. Triple H versus Booker T. A lot of people say uh, Booker T was robbed. He was robbed, but, you know, still a good match. Hogan versus McMahon. Two 60-year-olds did battle. Even a shocking return with a uh, shocking uh, appearance from uh, Ry Ry Piper. A very good match. You had Austin versus The Rock. Three. Another good match. It was uh, Stone Cold's last match. And then you had the main event, the World Heavyweight Championship, uh, I mean the WWE Championship match between Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. And just, just a goddamn, what a, what a phenomenal match that was. Even though Brock Lesnar missed, missed the shooting star press and almost killed himself, it was still a phenomenal match. Still a phenomenal match, and God, it was just a good match. It, 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 this WrestleMania was just so incredible. Of course, you know, you also had Undertaker versus Big Show and A Train, which was shit, but other than that one particular match, this WrestleMania really is the best. As a matter of fact, it's just, I was gonna pick WrestleMania 18 at number one, but, ah. Uh, at the slightest moment, the last second I chose 19. At the slightest second. Like just about two seconds ago, before this video, I, I chose 19. But anyways, this is Sting is the Grace saying good night and Godspeed.